Time now for your weather on the fours. The time is 614. We get a look at our weather today with meteorologist Cesar Cornejo in for Thomas with us today. Cesar, cooler yesterday. We even saw some snow. Yeah, Sarah, we saw some snow overnight and parts of Tuesday going about it because there was that little system that worked its way through. It was great, especially given the fact that if you're looking for winter kind of weather, that's kind of in the right direction of what we want to see. But for today, we're expecting to see some areas getting some showers over port towards portions of southeast Utah. A little bit of that morning chill and again, we'll see some gusty winds for southwest Utah and warmer weather for the weekend. And I'll have more in just a moment. Taking a look here outside the doTERRA Salt Lake City downtown camera. Not a bad start to our morning, seeing plenty of clear skies, but that means we're also going to see much cooler temperatures. So we're sitting around the 40s for quite a few areas here in Utah, but also some 30s. We're below the freezing point here in Milford. We're also seeing well below freezing in Ely. Elko right there at that freezing mark. So again, 32 degrees. We're also seeing Logan below the freezing mark. So it's a chilly morning. We're expecting to also see that we'll have better air quality throughout parts of the day, not seeing much in the way of any kind of smoke making its way in. So again, we can expect to see a great day out there. And for the school kids, as we go about the morning, we're expecting to see it's going to be a little bit of a cool start. So some layers will be needed because by the time we get towards lunch, we'll start to warm close to 60 degrees. And even by the time we get out for dismissal, it'll be near the mid 60s. So it'll still be a bit on the nice side, especially given the fact that we do expect to see plenty of sunshine. Winds are going to be a bit on the breezy and I want to say stronger side for parts of southwest Utah, especially towards the afternoon hours. You can see that Milford Cedar City already in the double digits and even continuing well into the evening time frame. And then as we go oh, into the overnight hours, that's when it starts to die down for us. So again, it's going to be an area of concern because we will see some stronger wind gusts at time. We are expecting to see some rain also for southeast Utah, thanks to that quick moving low pressure system that also is bringing in that wind. So again, we'll see that it happens towards the afternoon hours. Tomorrow we'll see some clouds just hanging around, but not much else than that. And then going into Saturday, that's where we start to see a little bit of that warmer temperature for us, thanks to that westerly flow. And as we look at the regional forecast for today, temperatures are hanging around the 60s for well, a good amount of us, except for areas like St. George, where we'll be in the upper 70s. But as we take a look at St. George's seven day forecast, plenty of sunshine, temperatures continue to warm. And as we head into next week, we'll see that we have the makings of another weather system for us that'll start to bring in some shower activity by the midweek. Looking at the Wasatch Front as well, we'll see that temperature slowly increase as we head into the weekend. By the time we get in towards Saturday and Sunday, a bit more sunshine temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, heading into Monday and even into Tuesday. But then we start to see that weather shift once again, thanks to that little quick hitting 